Welcome back to Let's Play Roshard, Burning Dog fans. Let me see if I've got the story of this game straight in my head. Uh, thousands of years ago, Native Americans were visited by aliens who taught them how to do all kinds of stuff and left them a disc of some kind with directions to some kind of incredible power. And, uh... You fast forward to humans are space going, and Skylar's uncle, who has been entrusted with the disc, loses it in a poker game to Maximilian, who realizes what's going on or what it, you know what it's supposed to lead to, and spends the next four years searching, having his goons, sorry, his lackeys, goons implies that we know what we're doing, uh, search asteroids for the disc reader until finding it here. Uh, we find the reader, he sends pirates to kill everybody instead of just giving us a paycheck and sending us quietly on our way for some reason. And, uh... As a result, we set out for revenge, and... We got all the information about the aliens from Skylar's uncle at the Zeronimo Casino station. From there, we went to Skyrig HQ to steal the disc from uh, Maximilian. We came back here, read the disc, and it told us that the secret power is hidden in Zeronimo Casino Station. Somehow. And now we need to, yeah, find our way back to the hangar. I had been going to start this video, incidentally, with me up there getting up to the top. Winch platform inactive, Skyrig dy Dynomatic 550, sorry, 5500 modular winch platform. I also wanted to point out that, turns out that the reason that I can't get into, I was just looking up there, the reason I can't get into the, uh, what am I trying to say, the reason I can't get boxes through the ladder holes is because there's actually a floor there. I'd never noticed that before. And if you're looking at it, you can actually see that it instantly disappears when John touches it. Without even a sound effect or anything. Weird. That was not my prettiest victory, but I'll accept that. Nope. You don't get to do that. Oh, my goodness. That guy's got a bazooka. Apollo, Sky Police Captain. Ooh. I think I shot his rocket. I don't think he enjoyed it very much. I do wish you guys would stop doing that while I'm on the ladders. It's very rude. If he turns around again, can I, like, stealth my way up behind him and punch him? I didn't think so. Ooh, that remote triggering is really satisfying. Okay, that was not what I <laughs> meant to do there. You probably guessed that. Oh no. No! What? Are you kidding me?
Wait, that's the opposite of what I wanted to do. Did you notice the gravity constantly changing? I mean, come on. Also, you're not talking to anyone. I don't know if you noticed that. What a mess this is. This is going to be silly. That is a problem. I don't think I can grab it from back there. Well, I'm going to give it a shot. And then, just in case, I'll have this up there as backup. Or I could have just gone up there, I think, but, you know, whatever. Still up here. What was that? Ah, uh, yes, I did forget about you. But it is fun screwing around sometimes. <laughs> I found a solution, even if it wasn't the solution. the wrong damned way. Here's a little nugget for you. I need a hot bath. How am I to get that? Buddy, do you mind? I'm trying to work this out. There you go. Now you're dead and I don't have to worry about you anymore. Oh, I see. I think. Yeah, okay, that should do it. Yeah, that was simple enough. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> okay, that's, that stops for way longer than the uh, that fancy laser room. What? Oh no, it's all it's the same sound effect, that's right. Duh. That's just like the health coming back. It is not the same sound effect, I'm just a derp. Right, I forgot about that. Or rather I wasn't thinking about that. I suppose that's more accurate. I'm just gonna check back here. Oh shit! Oh, that does work. I'm glad I did that. I mean, what do I care? I don't work for Skyrig anymore. They list me as a deceased employee.
wonder what's in all these things. Anyway, just ore? I thought we weren't finding any turbinium. What is the point of this area even being here? Can't crouch up there. Okay. Worth a shot, right? I'm just going to wait for the turret to face the other way so I can just, you know... Ah, oh boy. It's so hard to find good help these days. Arg. Okay, I'm just gonna duck down here real quick because I just got my ass handed to me. Okay, just checking. squished anyway. Hmm. This is not what I would call ideal. Huh. I didn't get squished. Okay, that's a bad call. I do not stay on the elevator. Okay. Stop! Every time I load, he's doing that thing where he's just aiming the thing in one direction. It happens if I move the mouse, too. Hmm, this floor appears to be made of floor! I think that's how the meme goes. So, it isn't like Buzz Lightyear saying that? That didn't sound anything like Buzz Lightyear. <laughs> Mind you, I'm not the expert on that, as I only ever saw Toy Story 1. Damn it! Oh, I was just going to duck behind the box and take cover. can't believe one shot got through. God damn it. Where's my rocket launcher, huh? Oh, right. Wow, I can't believe that one worked. I low gravitated my way over his shots, and that's incredible. Did you see that? Oh, of course you didn't. You're dead. Actually, no, you're unconscious, because I just punched you. I'm just going to take that with me. Oh, hey. this one do? Oh, okay. I needed to come in here anyway. It's one of the more obvious uh, trophies I've seen then. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, that one is not aligned with the plane I can actually interact with. My bad. that anyway.
But where am I going? Oh no! Well, I guess this is happening. Oh, I like that! It actually has, like, light physics and stuff. Just call me Solid Snake. <laughs> Oopsie. The last time I encountered these, I only broke the ones I needed to, and someone suggested that maybe there was a trophy leading behind the other ones. It was K-O-R. kind of fucked up. Hmm. Gee, that went way better. Like, objectively so. Are those blocks still coming? No? Okay. Oh, good. I can just do that. No! Don't panic. Don't panic. Just get out of crushing range. Yeah, it smells like victory. Ah! Huh. No use for that after all. Oh, hello, health station. Ah, the salt shaker of vitality. Nice. I always like that when they give you, like, the individual health things give you such a small upgrade. But each one, you can really, well, after a while, you can really feel them. Oh, no! And we're running! Heave! This place is crazy! Oh! Oh, shit! That's not what I thought would happen, but okay! It landed in a pile of methane, and... Methane. Methane. I'm not actually English. We just share some of their spelling, uh... Things. What do they call that? Conventions. Methane. Oh, no! Oh, right, the box isn't going to fall down because, uh, that's a red field. Like the guy from, uh, Resident Evil. Control room, hangar 2. Sorry, C2, not O2. What's down here, then? Okay! That's weird. I feel like that's going to be the way back, huh? Hello? No! Sir, we have the disc and the girl. And Rashard? He is dead, sir. You're sure? He has a nasty habit of coming back. Positive, sir. He's buried in a mining shaft. They managed to figure out the statue's location. It's in the old mines under the casino. Fantastic news. Apollo, I see a promotion in your future. Meet me at the casino and bring the girl. 
mother truckers. Now how the hell do I get off this rock? I need a plan B. Well, once again, that's going to be a problem for future Burning Dog Face to deal with. Because the timer has gone, and it's the end of the episode. So, I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Rochard, Burning Dog fans. The ship's gone, Skylar's gone, and the station is crawling with Sky Cops, who are apparently all named Apollo or Magnum. And, uh... I've got quite a, a job ahead of me. Got my work cut out for me. And yet I think I can handle it. Yeah, shut up. Uh... <laughs> Later!